The posterize effect can be found under the stylized category. And if I apply it to my photo here, it's going to immediately limit the color palette of the image. Now, the background of this image is black, so there is not a huge difference between the unposterized and posterized version at first glance. But if I zoom in nice and close, you can see that we're losing a lot of the detail of the original photo. Now, we only have one control on this effect, which is the level, and it's currently set to seven, and this is actually the number of colors per channel in your image. So we have red, green, and blue channels, so seven times three is 21. So there are now 21 colors making up this image. But if I turn this down to a minimum of two, then there's only two times three color channels, meaning six total colors making up this image. And if I click and drag this number, you can have decimal values between those numbers. So increasing or decreasing this is going to increase or decrease the amount of tonal detail in your image. Now, if I add a tint effect just before this, it's going to basically eliminate all of the color channels and we're going to see something that looks a lot more like the threshold effect, where if I turn it all the way down to just two, then since there's no color data, we're only going to have two levels of tones black and white. And as soon as I increase this number, then we're going to start implementing the grays in between those blacks and whites to give a more detailed or less posterized image. And if I crank this all the way up to its highest number of 255, then we're essentially getting a grayscale image with no posterization whatsoever. And that's because each color channel at eight bits per channel can have up to a maximum of 255 tonal values. So if we were to just look at the color picker right here, I'll just click and drag this up and you'll see that the red, green, and blue channels at their maximum are a value of 255. In other words, 255 levels of brightness for each color channel. So that's why posterize maxes out at a level of 255. But that's really all there is to the posterize effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.